Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway on the hill here today. Reese Olson. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Now it's going to be Manuel Margot. And oh, that's that outside. And we're underway. Wouldn't that chase that two. time. Two and up. There's a the strike. Now two and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. This is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Carlos Correa stands in now and watches strike one. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012 and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. That one at the knees for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. That one, one not close. It's a ball and two strikes. pitch swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field green calls it in two away and now we take a peek at the twins lineup the sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today Chris yeah and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back and for hitters you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Out to short, Baez. Whips it across. Yeah. And that is the inning. Twins nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Comerica Park. Towing the slab in today's game. Pablo Lopez. Well, this guy's got... Sort of a tweener, not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. Here and Whoa, now here's Parker. a speed threat. Here's Outfielder, seven. Parker Meadows. The wide to kick the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second to first. Oh. One gone, bottom half of the first. Let's take a check of the Tigers lineup. 
The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. In the air, left field, down the line. Martin snags it, and that is that. We played an inning, no score. Back here in Detroit, now it's the veteran outfielder, Byron Buxton. Buxton in his eighth season 30 years old now a former first round pick back in 2012 and a foul ball bounce to the left side zips it to first and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So up next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Not even close there. And that is ball one. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. That one misses, and it's two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Fouls one off, two and two. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. That one finds the zone. 4-1. Second inning here, no score. And that's in for a strike. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Of the second, and now the DH, Kerry Carpenter. The designated hitter, Kerry Carpenter. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Nope. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. One one. Swing and a foul straight back. Misses nope. just ball. off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner.
And that one is lifted in the air. Margot in pursuit. He's got it. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And up next for Detroit, Colt Key. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. All in one. In the air, right field. Margot on his way over. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold onto it after contact. Matt Veerling in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind the catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call the pitch and ball one I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in no two count just tried to overthrow that pitch two out spaces empty Pablo Lopez will deliver. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Tigers fail to make any noise. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. So here's Christian Vasquez. Olsen back to work. Late on that fastball. Oh, wow, good luck catching up to that one. In the air, right field. Veerling brings it in. And there's one down. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. First nope. pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, base is empty. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on Got first it. for the out. Good slider inside right there. Got Batter it. fighting to Come get on. there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Martin. Here's the left fielder, Austin Martin. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Oh. And that's down and away. And that's outside. And here it comes. And a good eye there. Kicks and deals. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Three two now. Line drive base hit. So now back to the top of the order. 
Austin Martin with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Let off the game with a strikeout. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And that one goes straight to the backstop. And now a man into scoring position. Going to have to buckle down and make a pitch or two to get out of this little jam he's worked himself into after the two-out hit in that wild pitch. Good time to step off, take a deep breath. Righty to the plate. That one That's missed, now three and oh. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Carlos Correa in the on-deck circle for the Twins. Martin stands at second with two gone. Pumps in a strike and now three and one the count. comes Carlos Correa. And this is inside. One the other way, and a base hit. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Comes through with the RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. First and second, two outs. Brian Jeffers at the plate. He's over one. Way ball outside. One, ball, one. ball one. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. hitters count the 2-0 bounce to third they get the force that ends the inning and they limit the damage but the RBI single pushes across a run and the home team down a run Major League Baseball is on the show and we're back and the batter will be the shortstop Javier Baez Javier Baez the pitch fly ball to right pulls it down and he makes the catch and there's one away batting it the third baseman now the third baseman Zach McKinstry it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does and I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better that's ripped into the outfield 
drops into the glove two away well off the bat it looked like they might get that tying run on base maybe even extra bases no dice though a little unlucky on that one here's the catcher Jake Rogers What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Looking to get the tying run on base. Eight, two. One ball, two straight. In the air to left, down the line. Sizes this one up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the center fielder, Byron Buxton. The right-hander back to work. That's a little bit low. Well, these twins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. One ball, one strike. Righty delivers. That one in there across the letters. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Three. Swings and misses, struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And here is Jose Miranda. In the air to left center. Green on the run. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Ball Off the plate, down. ball one. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Back at Comerica Park, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Parker Meadows. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That catches the corner. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And the 0-2. Boils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Just off the outside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. 
Here's Riley Green. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. You know, Luke, every team has a hitter's meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. One down, base is empty. And that skips into there. The Tigers yet to pick up a hit here. Out of line, out towards center. He's got it, and there's two away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And a swing and a miss there. Well, oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Twins, Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left, Baez. Tosses to first, and Vasquez is gone. Up next for Minnesota, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. And next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Foul ball. One out. Base is empty. Next pitch is outside. This one in the air. McKinstry hauls it in, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Austin Martin. Singled and scored his first time. Yeah, there's a ball. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And a ball in two strikes. And another ball. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that'll do it. Twins retired in short order, but they lead it one to nothing. to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Kerry Carpenter. Here comes a pitch. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. 
Swings through that one out in front that time. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That misses. Two and two. Chase that time. Now on this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And that's nope. ball four. Oh, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And next to hit for Detroit, Colt Keith. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Not one close one. with that one. And the count even one and one. Ground ball to the right side. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Just one of those seam eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Really important at bat coming up now. And next up for the Tigers, Matt Veerling. First pitch swinging. These fans, oh, they are ready to cheer about something. Nobody out. Both the tying and winning runs on base. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. And a curve misses outside. Line to left. That's a base hit. Runner around third. He'll score in the tie. It's 1-1. One, one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Now it's Javier Baez. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Winning run at second, no outs. Last half of inning number five. To short, could be two. Quickly to second for one. On to Santana, two. Does a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. So two down now, and here is Zach McKinstry. Out to short. Correa over to first. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even now at 1-1. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, Manuel Margot. And the pitch. 
right through there for a strike. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So Chris how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. That pitch just misses the inside corner and it's one and two. And another ball. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The 2-2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. He's in there. Here's Carlos Correa, one for two. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. The shortstop takes the ball. Martin takes his lead at third with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. I got three and two. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Brian Jeffers to bat next. Three two now. He walked in, and that will keep things going. Making a move at first, coming in as a pinch runner, Edouard Julien. Next is the designated hitter, Brian Jeffers. The corners are in, middle infield playing back for the double play. Swings and misses. And it's a 1-1. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Runners are at the corners, one away. Pitch misses, one and two to count. Wouldn't chase that time. Way to lay off that pitch down. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two on, one out. Slider misses outside. Check on the runner, and he's back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Nice stop. Throws from his knees. And very nicely done for the out. And he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Here's Byron Buxton. Here's the third baseman, Jose Miranda.
Pitch misses, and it's one to no. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And another ball. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Two on, two outs. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. Base stack center field, coming home. He scores, it's 3-1. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Reese Olsen is done, and they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Alex Fiedo. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So two on with two away. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. That catches the top part of the zone, and that's strike one. With a runner at third, this is who they want at the plate. He's so good at getting a run across in these situations. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. And here in extra innings. Diving stop at first. Pinson misses. It's a strikeout. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Twins three, and the Tigers one. Now into the game, Willie Castro. He's in at shortstop. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jake Rogers. Fly to left his first time. Lopez back to work. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a pitch. And One that's ball. in the dirt. Two strikes. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And Vasquez is able to pull it down. Now batting, center fielder, Parker Meadows. And now the center fielder, Parker Meadows. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a swing and a miss. 
Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. to the right side Santana with the throw to first and they're down to their last out well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work and up next for Detroit Riley Green Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. The 0-1. Oh, and that one upstairs. a base hit to right field runner from third in to score it's 3-2 everything came together for him just a solid swing right there caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit those always feel great here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Pablo Lopez done for the afternoon and he was a tough nut to crack pretty stingy from start to finish back with the new arm after a quick break. New pitcher now Griffin Jacks he comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Two outs, runner on first. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. This game has a different feel to it all of a sudden, doesn't it? This one might not finish the way we expected. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. And the righty deals. That's ball two. And it is two and one. Tying run at first, the living run at the plate. That one not close. And the count is three and one. Perry Carpenter up next for the Tigers. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The Tigers down to their final strike. Three. Strike three. Got him swinging. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.